हे गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न यूजर सर्विस सो यहां पे मैं स्प्रिंग इनिशियलाइजर को ओपन करूंगा और मैं यूजर सर्विस को क्रिएट करूंगा तो यहां पे मैंने प्रोजेक्ट टाइप सेलेक्ट करूंगा मैबन और यहां पे लैंग्वेज जावा एंड स्प्रिंग वुड वर्जन 3.1.5 और यहां पे एक ग्रुप आईडी विल बी सॉफ्ट कोडर सॉफ्ट कोडर्स यहां पे आर्टिफैक्ट विल यूजर सर्विस एंड पैकेजिंग जार एंड जावा वर्जन विल सेलेक्ट द 17 यहां पे फर्स्ट आई विल ऐड द स्प्रिंग बेफ्लेक्स डिपेंडेंसीज ओके so we can write our API in the reactive style and third I'll use R to DBC this is the reactive relational database connectivity so it's uh, supported by the many drivers so you can go inside R to drivers you can type and you can go in the very first link so multiple database allows the various types of driver to connect with uh, uh, R2DBC in the reactive style. So here you can see the list of databases. So here we will use the H2. Information for other databases, MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, and Mongo and others. Okay, so uh, if you want more about on that, that you can go through with this. Okay, now we will move on our Spring Initializer. And then third dependencies, I'll select here H2. Okay. And optional dependencies we select the lom box okay that's fine and i'll create cl click on the generate button so our application is created now i imported application in the intellij and here i created the package structure first is the controller dto entity repository service and util and uh, inside the dto i created one dto class user dto with the three field id name and balance and i used here the lombok as a data annotations and two string and another i created the entity class with the same uh, field and i used here the id this is from the spring and the table we are creating user and this is from the lombok okay you can expand it and you can see this all from the table from the relational core mapping okay and uh, one more class I created util class this is the entity to DTO util class so it will convert entity to DTO or DTO to entity and third I created a service class a data setup service so we'll set up the uh, data base and uh, with the tables and the records inside the table so here I use the command line line runner from here I just uh, use the resources and from resources i just reading this file so this file i'll create it inside our resource inside h2 folder and this is the file right i created it you can check out it from our git repository okay and all these things i explained in our past video with the product service so that's why i'm not spending time here to explain everything if you want you can watch with the videos of the product service so simply I'm setting up the data. So all these things are done till now. Now I'll start to creating the REST endpoints. Okay, so first I'll create the controller. So I'll create user. I'll mark it with the request mapping and REST controller. So I'll provide here this URL as an user. Okay. I'll create the service class. So I'll create here, here user service. And I'll mark it with the service. And second, I'll, third, I'll create the repository class here. So not the class, it will be the interface. So user repository. And here I'll extend it with the reactive card repository, okay, which we are getting from the R2 DBC. And here I'll use uh, as in generic user entity, and uh, ID will be integer. And I mark it with this one with repository. annotations yeah so we created all uh, package structure and class now i'll add a start rest endpoint so first i'll add 
get mapping because we are already adding the data on the startup of our application so here I'll use all and here I'll use the public sorry public and I'll publish the response as an flux right because we are getting we will get the list of DTO user DTO and get all here I'll auto wired service class auto wired user service and from here I'll use it so I'll use return this dot user service dot get all this method is not created till now so I'll click on here and I'll create the method okay and from here I'll just auto wired repository or user repository interface okay and I'll use return this dot user repository find all and here you can see uh, we will get as an entity right response as an user but uh, we need to uh, required type is the user DTO so simply I'll map it into the user DTO so I'll use map and I'll use here entity utils as I created right and map it to DTO that's enough okay this map is not from the stream this map from the flux library okay so one rest endpoint we created now we move on another rest endpoint so I'll create another rest endpoint just like uh, create the user so I'll create the post mapping and here I'll not use anything I'll use public okay and I'll use here the mono user DTO and here I'll use the create user and at the request body I'll use mono user DTO user DTO that's fine and here I'll return this dot user service dot create user and I'll pass user that's fine okay I'll create this method inside our service class and method is created now here then I'll use the simple return and first I want to save this object into our database so we need to convert this DTO user DTO into the user entity so what I'll do I'll first convert it user DTO so I'll map it I'll use the method of entity DTO util class to entity and simply I created it now I'll use the flat map okay then I save this record into the database okay I'll use the same method from the reactive card repository now it is saved but still the error because from this we will get the entity as a return of the same method but we want to again send back it to uh, return type or we want to send back it into the user DTO so simply I'll, I'll use here so I'm sure yeah simply I'll map it again entity utils to DTO I'll map it that's fine so we also created a one of the rest endpoint create user now I'll go and create another rest endpoint so here I'll create another rest endpoint find users by ID so get mapping and here I'll pass the ID and I use here the public and of course we 
will add here the mono because we will publish only particular object single object dto not a user okay get user by id and here i'll add the path variable and id is an integer okay id that's fine and now i'll return it so what i need to do i need to call the method this dot user service dot get y get user y id and i'll pass as an id for now i'm just making bracket i'm closing it and uh, i'll click on this and method will create it so from here simply what i'll add i use here return this dot user repository dot find by id and i'll pass the id okay here that's it okay but now you can see again we are getting the error because we are returning the response as an dto and we always get from the repository as an entity because we why we are getting it always because you can see inside the generic type we pass the user and user class we are creating as an entity here okay so i'll go inside that and again i need to map it so i map it to dto that's fine so till now this is fine but we moved on the controller and here a controller that is fine we are returning it but uh, we want to return it with the response entity because sometime users can be available sometime cannot be a user available right so we want to also find uh, we want to also provide the http status code so i'll use here the repository response entity okay and i'll use here the response entity and here i'll simply i'll just get and now i map it this right return type in the response entity so response entity okay i'll use if everything is fine or default entity i'll use here default if empty i'll use here the response entity as an bad request okay dot i'll build it that's fine that's enough show if user will not find then it will return the 404 status code as in the uh, not 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 found not a build request or bad request not found not found i'll use here yeah so it will return the 404 if it is fine then it will return the 200 so i'll create it here the three rest endpoint and uh, another two rest endpoint i'll create here so another two rest endpoint i already added here one is the update user and another is the delete user so here i use the put mapping and uh, here i use the delete mapping okay so you can check it out from our git repository code if you are not able to understand then i'll explain it to you so here we are saving the time so now i start the application okay and test all all five rest endpoints so i'll click on the start here you can see applications is started okay so application is started on 8092 ports and uh, our database is also created here as we uh, created it from our command line runner okay now i'll go inside the postman and we'll test the rest endpoint so inside the postman i'll add one more collection for our order service so here i sorry not order user service order service will come later you did it now i'll add a request here so first i'll add the get request okay fine i'll use get all here okay i'll use http and i'll use get all here okay and i'll save it and then i'll test it so here you can see we got the record sumit manoj something like that okay and now i'll create one more request or i can just make it duplicate it 
so I'll create one add and suppose we want to add find by ID so suppose I just want to find it by ID 4 so here is you can see four number is the summit and I'll test it so you can see summit is working fine I'll save it okay and uh, yeah I can rename it okay okay fine uh, I'll rename it too. and uh, I'll make a duplicate another this one and this will I use for the post okay and here I'll kind of change the method as in post and here I'll use the post URL and as in body I'll select a row and uh, I'll select the type JSON here and I'll add the body so here I'll add the name and soft coders and balance I add here sorry balance I'll add here 200 that's fine and I'll got it you can see this is 100 200 okay so user is created now I'll go on also in all rest endpoint and I'll test it so here you can see our soft coder is created now I go and find by save an ID I'm saying it so here you can see 404 status right because this is not found as we return from the response entity so in the same way I can go with the delete right so I can use here the delete and users I'll suppose I want to delete the soft coder then you can go and save it yeah it is deleted successfully if I go on all you cannot see and same way we can test the postman so in the next video we'll cover the user transaction controller service and repository and after that we start with the order service so thank you for watching